INI was my first priority. Sir. So I had been preparing for INI primarily. NEET, I studied uh, about two months before the exam, you know, just to uh, make sure it has the basic strong. But as soon as NEET got over, it started preparing. So actually, to be frank, uh, I, I really thought it was kind of uh, not achievable because there's only one seat and there's only one college in India that offers uh, MCH vascular surgery, seat subscription, about four to five months before the exams. And uh, I used the videos and the lectures given in speed uh, for as part of my coaching for vascular surgery. That actually helped me a lot. And obviously speed, because the <laughs> teachers, speed, the notes, they're all very helpful, sir. Because these are all uh, very good for revision and all of us need it, sir. No matter what we study the whole year, the last one month of revision is very key to the entrance exams for us. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed to Dr. Karthik for scoring rank number one in uh, CML, in speciality, super speciality of MCH vascular surgery. In the session of ENESS, November 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, wish to know from Dr. Karthik his story, uh, where he started his career from till date, what all he has done. So actually, I am from uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, from a city called CLM. That's my hometown. Great. From there, I did my uh, UG in Bangalore Medical College, uh, post which I joined my post-graduation in MS uh, Surgery in uh, PGI, Chandigarh. So I finished in the year 2021. Following that, I did two years of senior residency, sir, in the same department. Master surgery? In, in general surgery, sir. General surgery, okay. In general surgery. I did the SR ship there and then I gave my exams simultaneously while, while, work, while working at the institute. They always say, you know, in PGA, if you do an SR, you have more chances. Yes, sir. As a GR, we get uh, limited chances because uh, owing to the complicated nature of cases here at PGA. But as an SR, you do get good amount of chances, sir. Good amount of chances. That's what yes, generally people used to say. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to ask you a question. Why vascular surgery is your interest? Because, I mean, in general surgery, people generally get exposed to gastro and work and yes. breast endocrine, all those areas. But why your interest went straight to vascular? Uh, that's actually a very common question I get from everyone, sir. From my parents as well as not my relatives. Uh, the credit goes to my sir, Dr. Ajay Savlania. He is my uh, consultant here at PGI. He is part of the general surgery faculty itself. And he is the only one who's done MCH vascular surgery in PGI. So we have rotation postings in all the units and we worked under him as well. So at that point in time, I just uh, worked with him for quite a few months. And uh, the exposure that we gained under him in vascular surgery, be it our aortic cases or about the uh, vena cava and the peripheral venous system, the arterial disorders, uh, we get good exposure here, sir. As in, sir motivates us to, you know, come to the OT frequently, teaches us frequently. And especially the point that we like the most is regarding the peripheral vascular diseases, sir. A patient comes with you with rest pain of so many years, so many months, sorry. And then we do a simple procedure is cured of all the pain. The next, the next morning we see his face and he's so happy. It gives us a lot of uh, happiness ourselves. We feel that we have to do it again and again. <laughs> That's a major driving factor, sir, actually. This, it is little instant. Uh, I mean, yes. you see instant results because the yes. intuition has to happen yeah. to give that results. And it's great that your mentor has inspired you <laughs> and uh, your teacher has inspired you to uh, get into the speciality. Something great. That's true, now, sir. Okay. Now, you had vascular surgery in your mind and you wanted to go ahead with that. Yes, sir. And what was your approach and uh, what was your looking at? There are only two options left that to go either through vascular surgery through DEET or through ENESS. So what was your plan and how did you approach towards your plan? So actually, to be frank, uh, I, I really thought it was kind of uh, not achievable because there's only one seat and there's only one college in India that offers uh, MCH vascular surgery by INI. That is in Sri Chitra in Kerala. So uh, it was a bit dicey for me to decide as to which one to go for. So I had to simultaneously prepare for both NEET as well as INI. Because in NEET, we have a few colleges that do offer uh, vascular surgery, sir. So I prepared for NEET as well as INI. I had taken up a seat subscription about four to five months before the exams. And uh, I used the videos and the lectures given in speed uh, for as part of my coaching for vascular surgery. Meanwhile, I also had to go through Rutherford textbook uh, quite a bit because uh, you know, of the fear that what if these questions come from come in the exam because there's only one seat to miss. So I couldn't take any chance, actually. So I even read, read, uh, went through Rutherford, you know, made notes out of all the important chapters and that actually helped me a lot. And the last one month actually went only through the videos and speed, sir. 
it was like a quick recap for me. I could quickly revise what I had studied the previous months. So that was quite helpful. There was one revision program was also so kind of exclusive through Vasla Sarandi. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. It was very helpful. Sir. So, generally, uh, the takers for Vasla surgery are, are limited. But um, but we know one or two students or a handful of students will work for it. So, that yes. let us start supporting them. So, that's how we <laughs> did vascular surgery course. That's true. And... Actually, it's, uh, not many platforms have vascular surgery as part of the curriculum, so except speed. So, it was very helpful for me. That's the main reason I chose speed as well, so that I can get some uh, insight into it. Because uh, yeah. there's not many people who do vascular surgery per se. Yeah, because I mean, vascular surgery is there as an extension of general surgery, but that is not adequate for clearing in ESS. Yes, <laughs> yes that's true. <laughs> So, you need to know something beyond from the vascular surgery depth. So, that's yes, the reason sir. why post-MCH faculties in vascular surgery were uh, requested to uh, handle it and cover it so that someone will get benefited out of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is actually quite helpful, sir. I really have to thank Speed for that. The videos are really crisp and the notes were even really crisp for a quick revision, actually. Mm -hmm. So, once you study the textbook, the revision notes were really good. Yeah, because re revision is a key behind success. Yes, in exam, yes, I always sir. used to say, I mean, we can read for one year, we can read even for six months continuously one year, but whatever we have read, it has to be revised. If we don't revise, That's and the output will be very difficult and cannot be That's expected. True. That's true, sir. We should have a revision material. That's what always we make sure that whatever the faculty conducts in the video classes, so the same notes are loaded in the PowerPoint yes, so that they can scroll through it. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's quite helpful actually to go through them in the ending before the exam. Uh, because video even 2x speed takes time to finish. But yes, the same memory, if you could scroll through, we can recollect whatever has happened earlier. True, true, sir. <laughs> so that, that's the reason why we kept that way. I mean, anyway, I'm very, very happy for you on that. So you just tell us now. So you started working uh, towards uh, NESS for that one seat. Yes, and, sir. No, before that, what happened? Did you give the NEET SS also? I did give NEET exam as well, sir. So what happened to that exam? Uh, in that, I got 801 rank. So it wasn't a very good rank, uh -huh. but I managed to get a seat uh, in one place in Bangalore, in Jaydev Institute. Okay. So <laughs> then from that point of time, one month was there. Now, yes, um, sir. there was one month. The results came late, but uh, you gave the exam. I mean, that point of time, uh, you immediately started your preparation to the NESS? Uh, so actually, I, actually, INI was my first priority, sir. Okay. So I had been preparing for INI primarily. Neat, I studied uh, about two months before the exam, you know, just to uh, make sure it has the basic strong. But as soon as Neat got over, I started preparing for INI. Because I didn't wait for more the of NEET. general surgery, right? Yes, sir. More yes, of general sir. surgery. Then, yes, sir. Uh, so the person who's oriented towards NESS probably yes, have sir. more speciality in hand. But your Neat preparation might have helped you for the 25 to 30 questions of... Uh... That's true. That's true, sir. Uh, actually, this time, sir, around 60 questions were from vascular surgery per se. Uh -huh. I believe the remaining 20 questions were from general surgery. And even the general surgery questions were very random, sir. There was no particular pattern followed per se. In fact, there was one question on essential amino acids as well this time. Yes, yes, yes. So, I heard. <laughs> so there's nothing we could actually expect, sir. But these 60 questions on vascular surgery were really uh, good. They were part, they were they were all covered in the speed syllabus as well, as well as the notes that I had made from Rutherford. So that was quite helpful, sir. Now, uh, the minute the result came of um, uh, rank number one in CML for uh, INESS vascular surgery, and uh, <laughs> what was your uh, feel? You are working for that one rank, and that one rank came. It is not all necessary that what we work for, we will get. That's true, sir. Because a lot of people are also working for the same. It is not yes. only we do it. There are a lot of people also. The minute rank one came, and what was uh, your feel on that and how did you feel that okay i have done it i mean what i worked i have got it and yes, who, who was the first person who whom you informed this to? actually sir the uh i got the results in the night around uh, 10 o'clock in the night is when i got to know my results so the moment i got my results i first went back and checked my roll number if it's actually my results hmm. and then uh actually I, I was you know i didn't really tell anyone in the night and the next morning the first one told was my parents in the morning that i got the first rank and they were they were extremely happy about this and even even I, sir, like, uh, it's, it's the one thing I've been preparing for for the last almost one year. And when we get it, it's actually uh, a true experience. It's like we've, uh, our efforts have been paid. 
<laughs> efforts are been exactly paid it is not paid <laughs> less or something exactly yes. it was exactly paid. exactly paid and what was your reaction what was the reaction from your teacher who motivated you to do vascular surgery uh, so actually i haven't met him in person yet i have mm-hmm. to meet to meet him in person he and knows uh, i'm sure but he knows he knows sir he knows but i haven't met him in person uh, i'm yet to deliver it to him in person now so i'm sure he'll be very happy about this because he's been motivating me from the beginning regarding this he's like you can do it just tell his name once again dr ajay savlania dr ajay savlania sir savlania so, yes sir and this video will reach him also we'll make sure that it reaches <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much sir <laughs> so that he will be an a happy man to see his student getting yes. input yes, it's, a, it's a great feel for a teacher who motivates his student and student does it he will feel top of the world It's like he achieved yeah. it. Great. Okay. Now, uh, how many questions did you attend this exam? Uh, so this question, this exam attempted a seventy-five questions, sir, out of eighty. Okay. Now, what is the message that you want to give to students who are aspiring for MCH vascular surgery? Firstly, what I would say is, sir, for vascular surgery, uh, it is it is imperative to go through Rutherford notes once. We have to go through the textbook once and make uh, our our own notes as well as follow Speed's lecture notes. Speed lecture notes are very good. they are very concise and they are very easy to follow but even the textbook knowledge is equally important sir because that will actually help us in finding the nuances in the answer and that will make a big difference in the ending so rutherford textbook for major vascular major arterial venous diseases as well as speed notes and uh, for the basics sir, sir i think uh, bailey is more than enough the latest edition is more than enough only the issue yes sir because the 20 questions that they ask in general surgery is very random and we really can't prepare for that 20 questions So preparing for vascular surgery per se will help us to go through it. Wonderful, doctor. Time to thank whom all you want to thank. They have stood by you, helped you, supported you to you today to what you are today. Uh, so I would like to thank my wife and my parents and my sister. They've been together with me throughout this entire journey. And uh, thing is, sir, they don't really have much of an idea about vascular surgery. because they've been hearing about people talking about gastro surgery onco surgery they like why don't you do this but they've not forced me even once to you know change my mind they've been together with they've been standing with me in whatever i choose whatever i chose to do so big thanks to them i can't do it without them and of course not to mention my uh, sir dr ajay savlania without his motivation i don't think i would have even thought about vascular surgery sir he was the reason by, by, behind why you know the reason why i took vascular surgery and obviously speed because the <laughs> teachers speed the notes they are all very helpful sir because uh, these are all uh, very good for revision and all of us need it sir no matter what we study the whole year the last one month of revision is very key to the entrance exams per se so that's sir so great interacting with you and thank you so much sir okay. and uh, this wonderful session and uh, you shared your brief experiences and uh, all those aspects and we once again wish you all the very best and all the success uh, for your course in vascular surgery in sri chitra tirunal uh, central institute in trivandrum and to have a great course ahead and also in a great vascular surgeon dr kartik in making and definitely you will uh, make a landmark in vascular surgery speciality uh, through your hard work and passion for it and you'll definitely contribute a lot for the same speciality and also for the patients who are coming to your services they'll be greatly benefited for that yes. advance wishes and congratulations and best wishes to you thank you so much sir